In a kingdom not too far away, there once lived a king and his queen. They had three daughters. The first two weren't as special, but the third one, Psyche. Psyche, we love you! She was just quite um, beautiful. People thought she was truly the goddess of love. Aphrodite, being jealous and angry as usual, Oh, I'm angry and jealous, came down to Earth for a visit. My temples, they're empty. Nobody's there worshipping me, the goddess of love, Aphrodite. I'm gorgeous, for Zeus's sake. And she, she's immortal. How could she possibly compare to I? What will the gods say when they hear about this? Aha! I know exactly what I'll do. Cupid! Son of mine! Come! You always surprise me! Yes, I do! Well, I have a little favor I'd like to ask of you. Alright, what is it? Take one of your arrows mm -hmm. and shoot this girl, Psyche, <gasps> down on Earth. Why? Make her fall madly in love with the most ugly, disgusting, vile man you can think of. And why would you want to do such a thing? Well, just between you and me, don't tell anyone else about this, but people are worshipping her instead of me. <gasps> That's indespicable! I know. Well, get to it. <sighs> All right, Mother. Toodles! <laughs> now, let's see what Psyche says to this. Never nest with the mighty Aphrodite! Down below, the king was having trouble finding Psyche a suitable husband. His two older daughters were already married off, but no one would marry Psyche. She was simply too high above them with her perpetual beauty. So, the king went off to find some incitement and help from Apollo's oracle. Oh, mighty oracle! Who knows much more than I? What do I do? My most beautiful daughter, Psyche, cannot find a man to, who's willing to marry her. And my two other daughters have already been married. What can I do? You must dance with me to contact the spirits. Up, up. March one. <laughs> what have you figured out, oh smart one? Your daughter. Oh yeah. I'm thought to be the bearer of bad news. But your daughter must be married to a dragon. A dragon! What? You must lay her out as if she had died on the head of your town. Go! Go, King, go! Why? Go! Why? Your crown. Unfortunately for Psyche and her poor father, Aphrodite had previously made a deal with Apollo to tell the king the dragon story. Oh my god. 
Oh, I think you just spawned the head over heels for that girl. Without any meddling of any god or goddess. But, I'm supposed to kill her. But I cannot. She's just so beautiful. Oh, look at that. Oh, look at that nose. Oh, look at that mouth. Oh, I have a plan. I have a perfect plan. Soon, soon, Psyche, we'll be together. <sighs> And so, the king, queen, and sisters did what the oracle said to do. Psyche! No! I told Father not to do it to you! But no! He just wants to get married. <laughs> and then, Cupid comes to save her and bring her to his hot throne. You will be mine soon. Soon you will be mine! I have brought you, the South Wind has brought you here to my, oh, no, our beautiful home. Where am I? Oh, Psyche. Who is that? Such soft skin for what I thought it would be a dragon. Ugh, you must never see me. Ever. You are my husband? Yes, I am. But you must never see the face I have. Okay. So, how was your day? <laughs> Wonderful! How was yours? I enjoyed the house. It's very nice. Lots of beautiful objects. Okay. Go to sleep now. Okay. Yeah, my favorite time of the day. Tea in bed.